All right, welcome to this video. My name is Taylor Venture. We're gonna be talking about thinking long-term versus short-term. And I don't care what you wanna achieve in life if you want to achieve it and become the best at whatever it is you do and live a life that pretty much most people can only dream of. You need to think long-term. People like Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, these are a few examples of people that all share one thing. They all think long-term. Now, this doesn't just apply to business and sports. This also applies to if you wanna become the best painter or the best parent, it doesn't matter. Best race car driver. Thinking long-term applies to anything in life, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video, how you can think long-term. Now, the opposite is true for people that don't think long-term. These people usually live a pretty basic, mediocre life, nothing wrong with that, but that's just typically what's gonna happen if you don't think long-term and you think short-term. So stick with me for five minutes. I'm gonna show you six things you can do by the end of this video to help you become a better long-term thinker so that you can live a happier life and achieve whatever it is you wanna achieve and become the best at it is at whatever you do. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're in the whiteboard. And first, on the left-hand side, let's focus on the short-term thinkers. These people, how do their brains actually operate? And how do you know if you're a short-term thinker? Well, usually these people are optimizing for pleasure and they are avoiding pain. That's the goal in their brain. So let's actually reveal this little black thing, go through this one by one. So a very classic example is tasty, greasy food. This is the kind of food that you shouldn't be eating, but it tastes really damn good and you're just gonna do it anyways because eh, whatever, it's not really gonna affect you. Wrong, that is going to absolutely destroy your productivity. It's gonna destroy the way your brain thinks. It's gonna give you brain fog. You're gonna feel lethargic. You're gonna get overweight. You're not gonna feel great about yourself after eating that cheeseburger or whatever it is that you're about to eat. Another thing is just overeating. So just food in general is probably the most basic best thing you can optimize to become a better long-term thinker. Now, you may think this is pretty weird that I'm talking about food, but actually that is one of the most long-term thinking things that you can do because you eat it every single day. And if you eat healthier food, you're gonna be able to make better decisions. The second thing that we have here on the left-hand side is not working out, okay? That is just very mind-blowing to me that some people don't work out. Work out because when you work out, first of all, you're gonna have more self-confidence and it's gonna give you better, more clear decision-making. You're gonna be able to think smarter, faster, better. You're gonna be able to have better have more energy so you can work longer in deep work. It's just the benefits are insane and you're gonna live longer, so just do it. It's gonna help you not get sick. I, you know the benefits, I don't need to talk about that. So start working out. Uh, these people also, typically in business, if they're, gonna, if they're overpaying themselves, they're thinking very short term. So the first two to three years of myself and my agency, Better AMS, I was probably paying myself like $15,000 a month. It was absolutely ridiculous, maybe even more. And I was just spending, and it wasn't spending that money on stupid things, but I was just throwing it at things that I thought would grow the business, like a $10,000 course that was not a good decision to buy and I should have not bought that course. So overpaying myself or overpaying yourself is a terrible short-term decision that you can make in business, fortunately. I have adjusted and, and become much better with that. Another thing that we have is a lavish lifestyle, okay? I see this in many entrepreneurs, and again, I'm kind of focusing on business here because that's what I do. I have an agency, if you don't know that. Lavish lifestyles are probably the most vampirish thing that you can do to absolutely make, just crush your business and crush your life. Because if you have a Lamborghini and you have a $3 million house and you take private jet trips to the Bahamas every three months and you're burning 40 grand a month on your personal lifestyle, that's not only money that could have went back into the business and paid for salaries of brilliant people that could have helped grow the business, that's also time and energy that you're wasting on things that usually don't bring you much happiness. There's a huge spike in dopamine when you buy that Lamborghini or when you go on that really expensive trip or when you fly first class, and then it just goes down and you're like, oh shit. I wish I would have just put that money and time back into like the business where I actually find a lot of fulfillment. So lavish lifestyles, just avoid it and just, yeah. Drugs and alcohol, this one, I don't even need to talk about this. If you're drinking alcohol and you go out and you stay out and you party and you go to the club, yeah, that's really gonna mess you up the next day and you're not gonna be able to think very clearly. So drugs, I don't need to touch on that. This, it destroys your brain. It, it makes your brain go to mush. The other thing is not learning. So these people generally are gonna learn less and that is going to absolutely destroy them long-term because if someone else is out learning them and they're working at the same pace, like if you and me work at the same pace, but I'm out learning you, I'm likely gonna surpass you just because I know more than you do and there's unknown unknowns. So you need to uncover those unknown unknowns. Now these people usually suffer from shiny object syndrome. They see one thing, they're like, ooh, I'm gonna go do that and then they leave their main thing. 
and then they can't focus that's another thing just because they're not working out they're eating greasy food they are constantly addicted to short-term pleasure going on lavish trips buying things like louis vuitton shirts and and and, and sneakers and whatever and and look there's nothing wrong with that stuff if you want to do that do that but this is a video about how to think long term and become the best version of yourself if you want to do that you're not going to mess around spending a bunch of money on materialistic things okay so i got a very strong opinion on this you can probably feel the energy in my tonality but anyways these people can't focus their brain is really messed up that's it and at the end of the day these people will have deep regrets after many many years of doing this because typically they're not going to achieve whatever they want to achieve just because of these huge traits okay now let's talk about the long-term thinkers this is a really amazing subject now these people their goal is growth and they typically are going through high pain they don't avoid pain they go straight to pain all the time 24 7. things they touch just turn to gold this is the midas touch of these long-term thinkers and let's start with the first trait strict diet that's very obvious they eat things that help their energy that help manage their energy it keeps them healthy it keeps their their brain clear and so that they can make smart fast decisions and that's just a super important thing number two they have they usually have a strict workout routine they make sure that they're working out at least two or three times a week at a minimum and that again keeps them healthy keeps them keeps their energy levels good it's not about looking great it's not about having a six pack it's not about any of that stuff it is just about energy management and having more energy okay now the other thing is that they will have strict sleeping habits this is another thing that should have been on the short long short term thinkers but think sleeping eight hours a night or whatever is sufficient for their brain to be able to function at the most optimal level the next day when they wake up and staying in that habit your brain does not like going to sleep at 4 a.m. one night and 9 p.m. the next night and then midnight the next night. It likes to have routine, okay? When we were freaking cavemen, we were waking up when the sun was rising and we were going to sleep when the sun was setting, okay? Simple as that. And the brains, they are designed to work like that. The melatonin starts to kick in when the sun goes down and there's no, there's no light, okay? So staying in a strict sleeping habit, number three or number four, simple lifestyle. I mean, simple, simple lifestyle, all right? Keep it simple. Keep the main thing, your business, which is whatever it is, whatever your mission is, whatever your vision is, keep that the main thing and, and let the, your fulfillment come from the game, right? Don't let it come from the materialistic things that you can acquire with the wealth and resources that you acquire from becoming the best at whatever it is you become the best at. Very easy to get lost in that world. You see many, many athletes get absolutely destroyed and their careers are ruined because they start spending all their money on lavish things or they go completely bankrupt because they spend all their money on lavish things and then they have deep regrets about doing that. Not These people are constantly learning, so that's pretty simple. They're always reading books. They're constantly trying to get better. They're constantly trying to figure out, okay, what am I? What do I suck at? What, what am I amazing at? How can I take that to the next level? What, what do I need to learn to get to the next level? They are releasing all short-term pleasures. They have laser focus because of all these things. Laser focus comes from a strict diet, strict workout routine, strict sleeping habits, a simple lifestyle. Um, you know, constantly learning. Laser focus is possible only because of those things. Now, these people tend to focus on one thing for 10, 20 years. Uh, that's something that I learned quite probably after like two years of constantly dealing with shiny object syndrome, sat down, got clear on sleeping habits, diet, workout routine, and it was just a dramatic shift, okay? These people have clean brains. That's, that, that's it. They have clean brains because of all these things that they're doing. So these are the six things that you need to do. Strict diet, workout, sleeping habits, simple lifestyle, constantly learning, and, and just releasing all short-term pleasures, all right? Now, that may sound super basic and fundamental, and it is. And that is what the best people on earth do. These people don't have many regrets, okay? If not any, because they live a life where they, they, they just got great at the one thing that they love to do, and they constantly did that. So... With all of that being said, the other thing I want to touch, touch on, which I didn't mention, was the Google Lamborghini story. This is a fantastic story. When Google went public, I think it was Sergey Brin who basically said, if I see any Lamborghinis in that parking lot, I'm going to take a baseball bat and I'm going to smash the windshield. Why did he say that? He said that because he wanted everyone who had stock and equity in Google that was about to become a millionaire and have a ton of money, like their net worth was going to go through the roof because Google was going to have, go public. He wanted them to realize that, look, the main thing is not 
lavish lifestyle and Lamborghini is the main thing, is building great products for our users and improving search and improving the internet, whatever it is, you know, Google does a million things now. But that's, that was actually what, they, what he's quoted for saying when they were going public. I don't know if it was him or if it was the other guy. I forget the other guy's name. But that's just examples of people at the top living super simple lifestyles and keeping it simple, all right? So let me know your thoughts on this video. It's, it's, it's a topic that I absolutely love. If you found uh, I, I left anything out, let me know in the comment section below. Smash that like button. It does a tremendous amount of things to the algorithm on YouTube that helps me get these videos out to more people. And uh, last but not least, if you hit that subscribe button, you will make my year. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when we're releasing videos. I try to do these things three times a week. All right, let me know your thoughts on this. Thanks so much for watching. Much love. Ciao.